talking to you on this beautiful I almost said Monday morning <clears throat> and it's Wednesday you know me I never know what the day of the week is I am so so excited today because we are doing one of my favorite crafts well, well one of my favorite it's not really jewelry it's more home decor makes but we are using beads and we're using beautiful high quality color remain wire so it's it's kind of like um you well it's not kind of is using your jewelry making skills for home deco so i'm just gonna bring in very quickly show you so we're going to be using some bases i'm actually i'm going to show you quite a few things because you don't just have to have bases you could do the trees by themselves as well and, and make your own um your own sort of pots or or like i got i even got a soap holder i put put some on but i'll show you that i will take you through all of them but um we got beautiful bases and once you add gemstone chips or beads or anything to your pieces they're going to look really really good but i'm going to show you this very quickly in a minute um let me just come and say, say hello to you all let me just take a sip of my coffee we only just started and i'm getting tongue-tied already so you know i'm getting excited because when i get excited i get tongue-tied so We've been doing these trees for quite some time now and I have to thank Chef actually and I, I hope she's she will be in the chat today. Um, she is the one who really ignited my love for these trees and she helped out so much to make samples. She She's a little trooper for us that I, I love. This replicating nature is always so great to do because like even if you're not good at turning loop, it loops, even if you're not good at twisting the wire, it doesn't matter because it's going to look natural and when something looks natural it's you know it, it just looks great it, it, it's get ready to do uh, as a present as well or great to do for yourself and it's again well like we keep talking about this but it's not the amount of money you spend on making something because i think that wooden base was only 99p from the range but it's the time you 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 give your own time you know and i think that's that's I, I think handmade presents are always much more special right okay so i don't even know where where shall we get started because you've got so much to go through um okay so i'm going to very quickly take you to the website and show you what's on the website now we got a couple of offers and also um on 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 the side of the offers the pre a black friday sale we are black friday week now is still on so if you buy anything for 25 pounds if there's 25 pounds worth of stuff in your basket then it will take a fiver off so you do 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 have a good look at it today um the sale is on to today tomorrow so um anything you like you still get another fiver off right we're just gonna say hello good morning janet lisa camille saying uh, morning kitty from a dull wheelchair where it's quite dull out here as well um bit, bit overcast haven't been outside yet so i don't know leanne is here so leanne how's the weather outside she's just dull. Going dull she said it's <laughs> dull here as well good morning charlotte um lucy carol saying a dull day here in a bricks and what a change from monday it was all sunshine and today it's like a bit much dull everywhere in the uk good morning penny from borderhampton lauren sue Lucy, Rachel, Elaine, Sue, Sunny here in North Devon. Oh, Sue, we are all having North Devon. <laughs> After the lab, we can all get in the car. It will take me about five hours, I think, to get to North Devon at least. But um, by the time the, by the time the sun is going down, we'll be there. Um, morning, Karen, Gwen. Um, can we sing? Love them. Still have an amethyst one to make for my daughter. Yeah, I, I love I love all of these trees. It's really nice and relaxing and with the tree trunk. So when you're making your tree shapes and we're going to go to this, I'm going to go to the website. You, you, website, you, you kind of like have to do and shape your own tree. But when you're using these, it's really great because the tree trunk is already formed. You're just really adding the canopy on the top of it so it makes it even even easier and it's really that makes it looks like something what you would buy in any of the home decor shops i think they, they look really good but i'll show you susan is saying dull and dismal here bless you freezing for lucy's good morning pauline angela did i miss anything no um, i've just been chatting don't worry haven't haven't missed anything um 
wrap up warm yeah absolutely okay so i'm going to pop you over to the website and then what we're going to do is um show you and i think i'm already on the page so you know the drill by now totalbeads.co.uk you're going to go in and let me just go back to the main page for you quickly so you're going to go in uh, black friday sale five pound off when you spend 25 pound that it doesn't like you know just if you add 25 pound into your basket you you will get that there morning ruth morning joan morning senya so right okay so you're either going to go here and press this big button video tutorial daily at 10 a.m um which are it's monday wednesday friday at the moment or you're going to go into categories and i'm going to choose video tutorials from here now from here what we're going to do is um you, well you can go back you can go back for a very very long time um so 18 months 19 months we've been doing this now i don't even know we've got hundreds of tutorials on that i'm going to go into today so if you scroll down to the bottom you can find that you can have you can have it by kind you can have it by technique and you can have it by date you can you search it by by bead you can search it for all sorts of different ways now going back up to the top i'm going to go into gemstone trees which is today right we got domes domes are really really great i'm going to show you the domes just in a sec because i have got one of the trees in the kitchen and in the kitchen because you're cooking you can get grease on things and um the dome is just a really a great way to keep it like pristine because i can just wipe the top of the dome so but you don't just have to use the domes for the trees you can use it for other things what you are creating set a little scene um and anything you really want to do we got the visteria kit back in stock i'm going to show you that one as well in a sec um that one is on offer and don't forget you still get an extra five pound on the off on the top of that and then we got our bases we got six different sizes and um there is an offer on the 260 millimeter one which is the 26 centimeter um which that is the biggest one and i'm going to show you that one as well and again you get your black so black friday deal on that one as well but it is that's the biggest one like look it is is, is really really big um, but I'll show you. I, I turn the camera back on and I'm going to show you this one. Um, I haven't done a big one yet, but I really want to do um, one for the lounge and I wanted to do sort of my loungy colors. Um, probably going to need, if you do anything big like this, you're going to need about five strands of chips. But I will take you to how many you need for what size. So this is the, uh, the 26 centimeter long, 260 uh millimeter right then we got some smaller ones the very tiny ones are still like they're small but they're not that small so you're still going to be making an eight inch so a seven eight inches uh tree with it then we got our wire now these wires are the wires on this scant as well they usually 10 pound they 7.99 so we got 20 percent off on them plus you're gonna get your five pound discount if you put uh, anything over 25 pound into your basket now these uh, color remain wires are amazing i have got a tree in a little sort of a dish outside on the veranda and, and it lives outside and i lived outside for the last couple of years now and it had rain on it snow on it sunshine on it and the 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 color is still remaining so it's a really they are really great um they are really really great quality and they have 50 meters on them so put you in perspective the wire we usually sell for jewelry making has got eight meters on there um of the four millimeter this one has got 50. so usually eight meters you pay two pound 50 this one is 50 meters you get loads so even if you don't want to use it for the trees but you want to use it for jewelry making do get some while they offer because they are like an amazing value for the price of like three you get Oh, let me do the math <laughs> you get six um yeah less less than the price of less than three you get more than six <laughs> i hope that makes sense um Sandy is saying use black five discount code in your shopping basket when you spend 25 pound have you got a problem with the sound again let me just let me what i'll do i'll pull this microphone closer to me can you hear me better now do let me know if if the sound goes because um 
they keep doing these updates on these programs and when they update the program i think the settings kind of like change a little bit let me know if you can hear me better now anytime if you can't hear me good just let me know and um i'll, I'll, I'll move things about right okay so um where was i so yeah the wire um do do, do have a look at there's many many different colors so you could have a purple with amethyst you could have a pink with rose quartz you could have we got a red one as well so you could do like an autumn tree um you could do so many different things light green gold um the ivory is beautiful um green um gold the forest green is a really really dark green we got copper we got champagne the champagne is probably the one which is, is the same color as the tree itself now with the trees you can paint them so they don't have to be this color you can paint them with acrylic paint i have done that in the past we got bronze as well we got black on the top and then we going into the chips added to the category as well loads and loads and loads of them now i'm just for a small one for the very small one you're only gonna need one strand of chips for a medium one which is have i got medium one here um one two i'm having a missing a size leanne one that's that's the two small one they are the two small one and then we got we got a medium one what did we do with it they will find it for me we got one size up after the medium let me just go up and i can tell you actually the sizes so the the page goes up and it goes into the second page as well and where there is more chips um added onto there yes they're the medium ones i didn't pick the medium ones so this one's the one they're still small but they one size up from the small i'll show you i'll turn the camera down and i'll show you just in a second like this table is getting so full here and then you got this one and then you got the really large one so there's four sizes here as well so the very small one and probably the one size up as well you can get um a vibe with one strand of gemstones maybe the one size up you might want to add a couple and when you're adding a couple what you can actually do and i'm going to come back to the main camera because you can't see me on the little, little, little one over there um there we go so when you add and just move this about i'm just gonna no i still need that so when you for the very small one 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 chips we want just just one strand strand of chips that's all we want for the very very small ones one size up you might want to add two to your basket one probably will do it but if you want it really full then you want to add two so the, those are the, the the two the one size up now with this one if you do adding two chips to your basket then what you can do is add different ones so i'm going to show you this tree here which has got amethyst light amethyst on the top um, dark amethyst in the middle and fluorite at the bottom so you can add different colors to your tree and i think it's up for me this one just looks really really great let me just turn it around so you can see the back of it i really do love this one now if you're going for this size this is not the biggest one this is one then then you're going to need three strands of chips and if you're going for the really really big one which is which, this is huge this is like really really big so it's like this is going to be over a feet tall once you're making it up um you're going to need about five strand of gemstone chips for this one though what an amazing present this one would make what like you know this is i, I really do want to make one but i just want to finish the lounge first and then um i want to pick the right colors and i think i'm going to make a multicolor one so i'm going to probably apply maybe one two three maybe one two three four five five different colors like going from one side of the tree to the other side that's what i would like to do but um you know it's a, a the amount of projects i got on a back burner but i will get around to it and do it okay so i'm just gonna pop these back so you can see all of these on the website oh and the domes very quickly actually if i've just come back a bit you can see them some of them there and a very small dome i haven't got so this is the largest dome and this is again really really big um i just got one tree in there and i the tree is on um a little um a beautiful stone a little beautiful stone on there now it's not um glued down so if i take this off the the tree like you know i can still mold it and i can still shape it and i still move it about that's the one size down again this is a little bit smaller tree and again on a pebble 
this is a beautiful fluoride um, stone then the one smaller than that is this one this one is, I got it in a little dish, but again, I can take this out I can and I can add something else into it. I haven't got anything else small here, I can add into it, but um, that's, that's the one size smaller. But they're just perfect because um, they keep everything nice and clean. And if, if, if you mean it for the kitchen or the bathroom, then I would suggest to put it in a dome because then you can just like wipe it over. So that's that. Now, I said to you about the soap dish. Actually, I got a couple. I got this one. This is my favorite. And then I have this white one. So they both, I just added a little stones on there. Now they, <laughs> these soap dishes, again, I think they were 199 or something like that out of range. I just made the tree. Now this is probably a medium to small size tree. So if you get a strand of chips and you get a wire, then you we will be able to make about three of these trees out of one strand of wire, one uh, spool of wire and one strand of chips. So it will take you a long time a long way um, you can make with it and um, I just added a few little stones at the bottom and glued it down with a hot glue gun and because it's a color remain wire even if you use it for soap even if you need to clean it it will stay that color I really do like this one and then this is the white one again using the black wire but add it into a white more like a stone effect um, a soap holder now I also made some for candles this is a little candle holder now this is just a tiny tree but um you could make something like that as well again this is came from i don't know if this came from the bnq or the range but it's just a hard shape if i turn it let me just turn it around just the hard shape um oh what coaster is and this is actually i haven't glued it on there that's a hard shape little tea light holder and i just put that on the top um, but again tidy over stone very easy to make again this is a very small tree so a spool of wire and a, a strand of gemstone would probably make you about four or five of these trees so you you're going to be able to make loads and loads and loads even with like minimal materials now i'm going to show you these ones now these ones Again, coming into more of a medium sized trees. And I have got a, this one is in a stone. Um, I don't know where this stone came from, but the pebbles are from a garden center. So, so as these ones. And then um, they're just like little decorative ones. I love, I love gluing the stones in as well because then they're not gonna fall off and actually <laughs> one of them just falling off on the top. But um, I usually glue the stones in as well. If I use smaller stones, have I got smaller stones here? Yes, that one has got smaller stones. I mix the smaller stones with PVA. So then they definitely, they're not gonna fall out even if I tip it. Because PVA dries clear and then it just holds all your tiny stones together. Right, okay, so I've got a couple more to show and then we're gonna get into the demo. So the Visteria tree is here. Um, these are the one we did. Um, it comes with a couple of fla uh, colors of flowers, a really beautiful kit. And this is not the biggest one, the one down um, set. Again, this is on offer as well. Plus you still get another fiver off, don't forget. So if you, and, or, or even if you want to get this for somebody for Christmas to make, um, it's a really a beautiful, um, beautiful project to make. Here you're going to be using seed beads and creating little loops. And I just love, because then you just love how the Visteria is just sort of moves on it. The flowers just move. This one is the blue one. Right, and one more thing. If you wanted to, what you could do, instead of using gemstone chips, you could use seed beads. So if you got left, these are FGB seed beads actually, but you could use any seed beads you have. If you got leftover seed beads, you could just use seed beads on your um, tree with a bit of wire and then um, that they will make it really beautiful as well. Um, Angela Singh, she's in the middle of making the Visteria all beautiful. Right. Um, <laughs> let me fill myself in okay so i'm just move these out i'm going to turn you down and i'm going to explain to you like kind of walk you through how to make a tree a couple of different ways you could make a tree and i'm just going to go through i'm just going to move some of this out of the way i've got so much on my desk now 
I want I I have got probably another how many in the end another few yeah. another thirty maybe forty <laughs> in a cupboard, but couldn't could not take it all out. And of course you got some of them, which like you can put in a little pot. Um, can you just pass that one to me in the end? You can put in a little pot. That that one in the window. You can put in a little pot and add like this one. Just got a little. Don't look at the succulents because they they need a bit of a love and care. I should don't don't look too bad. <laughs> you can put in a little pot, and then um, plant some succulents around it that looks really good as well so these are kind of need changing now because the succulents are a little bit overgrowing and growing out of the pot so i might need to repot them and, and put some smaller ones in there again but um they are a really great one thank you can i just give this one back i have had a couple of other ones i got on one in a couple of them in the kitchen as well right okay so we gonna i'm gonna turn you down on my mat there we go and i'm gonna show you some of the some of the trees which are kind of like shaped and formed together with a different root system so we're gonna go through and i'm gonna show you how to start from the top hold on there we go just need to move this slide about a little bit there we go that's better so you're gonna start at the top and we're gonna we always start with the canopy when we're making these trees um, but there's a couple of different ways to do it sometimes you can start at the bottom but the easiest way is start at the top and we're just going to be creating each one of these little branches and i'm going to show you how to do them just in a sec and but i want, really wanted to bring this in to show you and then each one of those branches each one of those twigs we're going to add together and then you're going to form your tree so you're going to form you're going to add two three together and then add bunches of twos or three together again now there is you can either i have printed out um pictures of trees and then i try to follow it and try to i try to make it up the same way how does it look in nature try to replicate it but you can just make up on your own like you know there is no right or wrong here these these two could have been twisted further up it would have still looked like really really good and if i bring this one in here can you see like how different the shape of this tree compared to this tree now here i run out of the um, by a picture much at the bottom so at this one i probably wouldn't i haven't got enough to have like roots going over a rock but i have got enough to use it this way when i would just glue it in um into some stone and then the tree is just growing out from uh from some stone as well so there's loads of different ways how you can set it afterwards but kind of like you need to think about it before you start what you what the end result you want to be because if you want the roots then you're going to have to stand up a start with um with longer length of wire if you don't want the roots then you can start with shorter wires well. and of course it's how big you want to make the trees um trees as well um they are really like you know are quite i love making these because i will go and cut my wire and i'm going to show you how to cut the wire very very quickly and then i'll sit down and um just sort of kind of play with it and i can sit on the the couch watching tv and make up my little my little branches and then from here if you make your root you would you i'll show you at the end um how to form your roots you can curl it around a stone and then secure it, secure your tree onto the stone, and then, then you can secure that stone down onto anywhere you want to put it. Right, okay, so I'm gonna make a smallish tree. Um, what gemstone shall we use? I got so much here. <laughs> I got so, so much, and they are so, so beautiful. Um, we got smoky quartz. Um, I really, really love this color. I, I can't, I don't think we got time because we would be here. I'm telling you, we'd be here right in the afternoon just trying to decide what color are we going to be using. So we, I got some, it's just some of the stuff, some of the chips were Simon brought home so very quickly as i'm putting it down if i put down one of what you really like then please let me know and then i will demo with that one so smoky quartz i got amethyst i got a moo kite i love 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 this one because it's so so colorful i got oh, 
I am brain dead today. What are these? Uh, Labradorite. <laughs> didn't, she didn't have to say, she just had to look at me <laughs> and then I remembered the name of it. Oh, let's take a sip of my coffee. They, they're good up with air plant as well, Victoria, absolutely. They look really, really gorgeous with an air plant. I have got one, and these are stuck together a bit. So I got lapis. I love, love, love lapis. One of my favorite stones. Then I have rose quartz. I love rose quartz as well. I got tiger eye, and this is brown tiger eye, or is this the, the gray one? How they blue tiger eye they called it but it's called blue tiger eye but in reality and i'm going to bring this in it's more sort of a darker browny color it might have a hint of blue in it but it's more a darker browny color then we have got these beautiful shell chips i really do love these ones because they have got the mother of pearl shell shimmer on them they're just really really beautiful let me just bring this up as well for you to see really beautiful and you can create like a winter tree with this one absolutely beautiful we got jasper picture jasper here we have indian agate i love indian agate and indian agate is again one of those what is so nice to do and i'm going to bring this up for you so nice to do for trees especially for autumn trees because can you see you got those beautiful greens coming through but also you have a bit of red a bit of copper a bit of brown a bit of like kind of like everything in there um i love jade this is yellow jade again beautiful beautiful stone that's another one of the lapis citrine beautiful again a beautiful one to for do for the tree oh my ear just falling out of my ear um we have got green turquoise halite beautiful stone again this one is dyed black related quartz beautiful i i would do probably this one with a black wire and i have done it with a black wire before oh yes i have this one look Oops, 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 I got a bubble of the tree. <laughs> Put the bubble of the Julian. So that's the black rated cords. So done it with this one. Then we have got I think it's moonstone glass. This beautiful again. We have I'm just really quickly wanna go through all oh, this. I love this one. Um this is such a pretty pink. Really, really a a, a pretty colour and um I think it was strawberry quartz. Um, pink opal. This is pink opal. Sometimes they, I think, uh, sometimes they come in with different names. This is pink opal, a beautiful color again because, and I'm going to bring it in even more because you got those pinks, but you got these other colors coming in there as well. So when you have a stone, when you have all sorts of multiple colors going in there, it's really good one to do because no matter what color, if you gift it to somebody, no matter what color they're living room or lounge or wherever they want to put it, it will pick up that colors from it. Um, white, how light again with these beautiful gray veins in them last but not least we got cornelium beautiful again a beautiful color as well it would i i think it would look so nice to have to do like an autumn tree to have maybe some of the greens going on at the bottom and more of the cornelian going on the top like sort of you know when you look out and when when the seasons are changing and i i love it i really do love it when the colors like when you look at a forest and, and it's so colorful and the colors are um changing as well okay so that's the chips and i'm just gonna pop them back pink opal um lucy's saying pink opal please yeah we will have a play with the pink opal then i'll pop that to the side and i'm just gonna pop these out just bear with one sec <laughs> and then i'm gonna show you the wire i told you we, we're gonna be here all day today i'm <laughs> just gonna be doing trees <laughs> plenty of different now i probably would use a rose gold with those let me just get actually I just get these all of this out of the way. 
there is loads of, or maybe the pink one would do as well the darker pink would look nice as well but you let me know what would you like me to do and we're going to use that wire let me just zoom in a bit more so you can see let me zoom in here as well you can see all the colors we have oh no <laughs> there is three three more there sorry there's three more colors let me just move this down here it's a beautiful i love this ivory as well so i'm gonna pop this at the top so if you're looking for a wire to match this sometimes i spend more time <laughs> looking at the wire and swapping them about what what am i going to be using with it and sometimes it's a process of elimination that like i will put i don't know the the blue next to it yeah the blue doesn't go let's take the blue out and then like sort of one by one i take the color of wire away and end up with the one that i like most so something like this the pink opal i probably wouldn't use the red I you could use the brown you could use the copper because you can see it has got some copper colors in there as well um, I probably wouldn't use the black because I think that would be like too dark on there um, the greens if I if I were to use a green I would probably use a darker green I wouldn't use the blue because I think although there is like a hint of blue here and there in one or two of the chips but I don't, I think it would clash. Could use the silver, could use this darker pink, but I think um, a softer, the, the darker pink and the purple might be like wanting something a little bit stronger color than that pink opal. The, the rose gold would look gorgeous with it. Um, the light gold, maybe maybe we could get away with light gold dark gold again i don't i think it's clashing with the color a little bit although there is some goldy colors coming through the chips ivory we could use ivory again because there are ivory colors but look at this and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you this i'm gonna put this to the side so have a look at this i pop the ivory next to it and can you see the colors like what coming through from the, the the stone itself now i'm going to take the ivory away and i'm going to put the gold next to it can you see now the stone it appears it appears to be more like a peachy color and it's because the two colors are going in in next to each other so gold i'm taking that away putting the ivory in can you see same stone i have not hardly even moved my hand but the stones appearing to be so much lighter because i put a lighter color next to it right rose gold rachel is saying rose gold Diana is saying rose gold can we sing pink and purple rose gold or dark green um so we got we narrowed it down <laughs> we, we got rid of one two three four five six seven eight we put eight colors to the side and we never narrowed it down to this one which one would be the best if i if if i would I would want to illuminate further i would probably illuminate the dark green and i would illuminate the dark brown because i wanted something lighter i would probably illuminate the copper as well although it might depending on where i imagine going it as well i guess but i would i would yeah i would either have the the copper the, the copper and the, um can you get the door please and i think it's the plumber <laughs> coming to fix my heating so i think i think it's the rose gold the light gold or the ivory they're all gonna look really nice um really nice with it i'm not sure which one rose gold everybody's saying rose gold rose gold or ivory so i'm gonna take the light gold out completely rose gold i think we're gonna go with the rose gold that's gonna be a really nice match okay so i'm gonna do a smallish tree here but i want to show you a way and I'm going to use just this pot. And this is going to be, you know, if you want to make a bigger tree, you want to choose a bigger pot to start with. Pot, is it? Yeah, oh yeah, or parcel, or parcel. <laughs> it was the basement. Just take the end out. So there's 50 meters on this one, plenty of do whatever you need to do. And what I usually do, I just take around 
object. So this could be a smaller bucket. This could be a plant pot. This could be anything like you, this could be a pot <laughs> from the kitchen. But um, just kind of like you want to see how 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 big is the wire taking it all the way around. And for a smaller tree, you want about 35 centimeter for a medium tree. And I'm looking for my, um, what did it do with it? There it is looking for my ruler for a medium tree you want about 45 centimeter and the larger tree you want 55 and a really really large one you want um even larger length on that one so that, those are the measurements if you want to make your trees just the tree themselves and without into the without using any of the bases now if you do want to use the bases then what happens is you know, you don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to grab this little one. You don't have to worry about the wire between this part because all you're really creating the little um, parts at the top and then th they're just going to glue in there. So you can get away with smaller length when you're using with these one. Obviously, the larger you go, you might want some larger ones, some smaller ones. You want a, um, a collection of them. Right, pop this to the side. So what I usually do, I just get my wire. I'm going to hold the end onto my circular sub, circular circular shape here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see better. And I'm just going to start winding. And I'm going to wind the wire around it um, kind of like as many times as you need to to or as many branches you want to make. So I'm going to go quite a few times. And I'm going to show you a little trick how to keep them all tamed at the end. So I've done, I don't know how many I've done, maybe 10, 15, 20 now. So I'm just going to do a couple more. One, two, and then we're going to stop. So I'm going to hold the end as well. I'm going to cut my wire. just there and I'm going to go ahead I'm going I'm still holding on to it I'm going to slide this off of my pot now it does help if you got a pot which is larger at the top and a little bit smaller at the bottom because it would slide off easier but it will come off this one as well you just have to do it bit by bit bringing it off now when I got it off what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this pot to the side and I'm going to go ahead and as I got my end here, I am going to wrap this end around one way. There we go. And then I'm going to wrap the other end around a little bit as well. So I'm sealing, sealing the end there. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut all of my, I'm just probably about a centimeter or an inch for where I've wrapped. I'm going to cut all of these. And I think I might need my other cutter. I'll just cut less at a time. I have got a heavy duty cutter, which probably... It will cut all of them at the same time. Look at that. Just to save time. But you would cut all of your lengths. So now you have got all of your lengths or as many as you wound around just there. And you have got them secured. So they, they're not going to go like all over the place because you wound and around there. So I'm, I will I would take this and I will cut the chips up as well. Now you can grade your chips. You can have smaller chips at the top and more medium size at the bottom or even when you're doing your each branches you could have a smaller one at the top more bigger ones at the bottom really it's up to you you could grade them by color because as you can see some of them are darker some of them are lighter so i could put lighter one on the tip of my branches and darker ones as i'm moving down if you really want you could do all sorts of different things it's really it's up to you it's your own design you you are in um you, you know like you can do whatever you like so because this is nice and secure i can just go ahead and i'm just going to pull any wire out of it pop this to the side and 
this is why it's great because I can now go and sit anywhere and I'm going to start making my little branches. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom back in and I'm going to show you how to do them. So there's a couple of things. Um, it's not necessary to have a wire straightener, which is a little plier with a nylon jaw. They, they are also called nylon jaw pliers. And if your wire were not straight, this is going to be, it's going to straight at the moment because we just reeled it off the bill. But um, just before I start, I want to show you how to straighten a wire if you need to. You're just going to pop your plier in there and, and you're going to pull the wire through. And that's just going to straighten your wire if you need to straighten. This one is quite straight, so probably I wouldn't need to do it, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. I'm not applying a lot of pressure here. I'm just holding it together and I'm pulling the wire through. If you haven't got one of these, <laughs> then you got these <laughs> to use. You got your hands to use. You can do it the same thing with your fingers as well. But if you're making a lot of trees and if you're make, making a lot of, lot of things with wire, it is good to to invest into one of these because it just it's you got more strength with this one and it will save your fingers for a um you, you will save your fingers it will send you a lot of pain in your fingers right so what we're gonna do we're gonna start right at the tip so i'm just gonna pick up a chip i'm gonna add the ends together and I'm going to take the chip down into midway. Now I'm going to take one wire one way and the other wire up. So you just the wires are crossed over. Now I need to create a little bit of twisting right here. And the way how you need to do that is by I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold it down with, with the nail of my thumb, probably about a centimeter, just under half an inch underneath. Um, the chip itself because one end is going to the top the other end is going to the bottom and when I start to twist around now it doesn't matter which way you twist you can either twist away or twist towards yourself for me it's more comfortable to twist away from myself and you're going to start twisting because you're holding the two wire sort of <laughs> the, to the top and the bottom or north and south and then you're holding into it once once i twist it a couple of times i will change the position of my hand i will open this up even more and i will put my thumb over the wire itself i'll show you this again don't worry and then i'm going to twist it maybe two or three more times to have a nice and even little twisting. Now this one doesn't have to be a centimeter. If you want it larger, you could have larger gaps. And then in that case, I would move my thumb further down and keep on twisting. And can you see every single time when I twist, the twist is just travels down. Now let's say this one is big enough and this one, how big we want it to do. Now I'm going to add my next little branch. So I'm going to bring in, I'm going to take my longest wire. At the moment they're both pretty much the same size, but later on one of them is always going to be shorter. So I'm going to take my longest wire, I'm going to pick up another chip, I'm going to take this, take this chip down. Now this time I'm going to fold the wire back on itself towards the middle just like that and I'm going to hold this end to that point where I want the twisting to go and I'm, uh, once again I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to twist the end so now I got two little spikes now I can I can go ahead and I twist the two together and 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 add more length or I can come out and add another little too big here really it's up to you you can do all sort of different Rachel says she loves some nylon joe spires I love them too as well in fact I got about three of them four of them <laughs> different shapes um you can you can either add another twiglet here <laughs> this is also technical for me um or you can spin the two wires together to form a little bit more of the branch itself so if i want to do that again i'm going to open up one wire to the top the other one to the bottom i'm going to hold on to this either by holding onto one wire with my thumb toward to my index finger the other wire in between the base of my thumb and holding it down with my spare fingers down here and then then start to twist and you get the nice and as I'm twisting I slightly 
letting the wire travel sort of upwards. I'm not holding it too tight. This is probably the most comfortable way to do it. You can also hold it on the on between your index finger and thumb um, just to hold the wire, just like you would hold, I don't know, a sandwich or you would pick anything up and then you can twist that way. But one is facing up, the other one is facing to the bottom. I usually, when you do this, you have to do so many branches. I go backwards and forwards by holding it different way. Now I'm ready to do another little twiglet here. So I'm gonna go ahead onto my longest wire. I'm gonna add another chip. Again, about just under half an inch, about a centimeter. I'm gonna fold my wire back. I'm gonna hold into this right into the middle and then twist again. Now I'm gonna add another one to the other side. I'm just going to go down to the bottom and see which one is the longest one. And I'm going to add my chip onto that one. Which chip sh shall I like? <laughs> and again, about a centimeter in. I'm going to fold this over and twist this together now this is a bit of a more of a round um, chip so can you see what I can do with it I can just sort of what's the motion I'm looking for I'm lost for words again I can kind of like not not like twist my hand but twist the chip in between my fingers can you see that because the chip is a bit more rounder so that can even speed up the process even more now again I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off because like for the top I want uh, smaller branches so once again I'm going to separate the top the two wires one to the top one to the bottom hold on to them and I'm just going to twist it all the way down so I want to create a twisted look all the way down and as I'm as I'm twisting it I'm moving I'm, I'm kind of like pulling the wire towards the right and I'm not holding this too tight but I'm holding on to it and as I'm twisting this on the right the the wire kind of like sort of moves up I'm letting it move up from my left hand right all the way down and then I would go and repeat this over and over again adding less or more chips depending on what size you want to do um, I'm just going to grab another one some of them you might only want to have three little chips on it's really a sub to you the bigger gaps you do the bigger gaps you do your branches on obviously the more wire you're going to be using up again I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to twist this then adding another one another chip on to one side Quite quickly, once you get going with it, you can make a branch up quite quicker. And what I love the most about this, that you don't really need to pay attention to sizes that much. I mean, once you made a few tree, it's kind of like going to be muscle memory rather than you trying to think of like how, how, how big I need to make it. But um, because you replicate in nature and nothing is really the same in nature, you could just... You know just go with it like now here I, I added less of a little bit of a gap so it's like looking very different this branch from this one um, you can do all sorts of different things but it's all gonna once you add it all together it's all gonna look really natural and it's gonna look beautiful so kind of like what I love the most about this you can just go with the flow It would be a good project to do for binge, binge watching, absolutely. That's my trouble, Lucy, because I do, like when I do my samples, I, I sit down and, and, well, actually, you're not really watching the TV, you're listening to the TV while you are doing your samples or doing your beading. <laughs> and that's why I can sit down and watch a movie three times and not really realizing halfway through, like, oh, I think I've seen this before. <laughs> Because I didn't really watch it, I just listened to it. So this one is going to have five little chips on there. And then I'm very quickly going to 
spin it all the way down to the bottom. So that's like taking me maybe a couple of minutes to make that. But once you get into it, you can be really, really fast with this one. And I, I would just sit there and make a pile of this one up. I'm going to make one more and then I'm going to show you how to add it into the had had to add it together. Right, next one. I'm picking up a chip. Don't forget some of the tree trunks are on offer and you still get your Black Friday offer as well. This would be the beautiful present for somebody for Christmas. Well, not just for Christmas, for birthday, for anything. But uh, I, I just love, I love handmade gifts. So the very small ones you want to add and let me just like, while I'm doing this, let me just tell you the sizes as well. So the very small one, the smallest one is 80 or 90 millimeter, it says. So eight or nine, cent eight or nine centimeter, which is just between seven, between um, three and four inches. That's the smallest one. We do, you want one strand of chip and you want one wire for it if you go up in size which is the 110 millimeter so 11 centimeter which is over four inches between four and five inches but that is just the base once you add the canopy to it it's going to be taller you want to add one chip properly will still do that but um you could you could if you add two it would just look more fuller and then we have got the 200 millimeter um, base, which is what I, which is what the Visteria is, and which is what I added the three different colors of chips to it. That one, like th you need three strands of chips, and because you're having three strands of chips, you don't have to be all the same one. So you could start with one color, and progress into another color at the bottom, which is what I did with the fluorite and uh, amethyst on there. I don't know the one I should, I'm just going to twist this. And then we got the very big one. So you, for that one, you probably, you can get away with one wire, but uh, you might need two. And um, depending on how long you are cutting them. And then you got the very, very big one, which that's, that's on offer already. And you still get another fiver off. You're going to need about five strands of chips for it. And I reckon about three to two to three wires because some of the branches you want to make bigger there as well but that would be a beautiful project to do um, if you look they they are double nylon jaw flat nose pliers yes they are on the website and i think lucy has put the link in early on so i got three little lengths here and i'm going to show you I'm just gonna grab any of them. It doesn't really matter, big or small, how to add this into one of these holes. Now these holes are bigger, um, but we need them to be bigger as well because what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the wire in a certain way, but we also, you can add a little hot glue gun into here, a little hot glue with a glue gun in here to then secure it even further. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take I'm going to add these together and sometimes I add two and then add a third later on. Sometimes I'm staggered them all out. It's really a sub to you. I'm going to add all three of these together. So I want these branches to have, maybe have one of them just a tiny bit longer. I want them to have a little bit of length. So this one is maybe just under an inch. This is like half an inch and maybe this one is kind of like a bit less than an inch there. And I'm going to hold all three of them together. And then I'm going to twist, I'm just going to twist them together just like that. And I'm going to twist, I'm, I'm, I'm separating them out a little bit at the bottom so I can hold on to it nicely. And I'm going to twist them all the way down. So now we are having, so at the top you got this, this, this twisting at the end. It's got two wires twisted together. Now down here, you have got six wires 
twist it together so it's going to become thicker and thicker and if you add, made another little branch like this and add it together then that would be even more if you use long wires now adding it into here what you really need to do is to and, and i usually do this on my finger um you can use a round nose pliers if you are um if you're worried or or like a, a, any pliers anything or a pencil for example would do as well or, or a crochet hook I, I got one of those here um anything which is um chopstick anything anything round just sort of bring it around it and then i usually bring the ends around a couple of times just like that and then point it back away to towards the loop and then i would trim this so i don't want anything sticking out but we're not going to see this part because that's going to be inside our little holder so then i would go ahead and probably need a maybe a chain nose or a flat nose pyre for this part i would go ahead and i would just slightly make this into a bit ovalish just like that not too much because once we push this in like you need to make it a little bit more once we push the end just try it in it's gonna come together anyway so uh, make two or three, four or five branches, as many branches as you want. Add a little bit of hot glue gun in here into the hole. And then all you're going to do, you're going to push this in. I probably made that a little bit too big, but never mind. And it's just going to sit there. Now, because we made that loop and that loop kind of as we're pushing it in is scraping the sides of the hole, um, it's not going to fall off. So even if I turn it upside down and I shake it, can you see <laughs> it's falling out there? But it's with the hot glue gun, it's definitely not going to come out. Different holes are kind of different sizes. So do always start with a nice round one, push it down a little bit, push it together a bit, and then you're pushing it to the right size and in there but this could be two or three at the same time what you are adding into one of those holes and i would shape it like you know when when you're making these maybe the top ones you want a bit smaller maybe the bottom ones you want let me just zoom out a little bit i'm trying to fit into this very small skin so then in in the middle you might want them to come out a little bit or you might want the canopy more of a round shape it's really a sub to you let me just bring this one in so this one is they they pretty much made the same size and can you see they got the little little glue but you can't really see you can all you can only see it if you point it out but what i actually do do when when this is out on display i do go back and i forever like sort of just play with it and and and, and, and make them stand a different way and once you finished finished it there's one thing what is really a good thing to do is to go back and i'll, I'll go back with my round nose pliers and you can see it on here they kind of like sort of bent because all of the trees not all of the trees because some trees are more straighter but some most of the trees are more sort of turny verny windy and i think that's what makes them really nice and natural so you can always go in and just take your random pliers and just tweak it and just turn those ends the way how you want to turn them and can you see like we are creating like those little turns what naturally would occur in a tree and i think that's what makes it even more realistic and some some of them is going to turn up some of them is going to turn that down but you can really tweak it how you want to how you want them to sit and that that's really is that's how easy it is to make one of these um because of the ceramic bases like you know you don't have to worry about any of the roots you just have to worry about the canopy it, it it speeds up the thing and it makes it look like even even better so something sometimes i feel like and i i don't really know like how to or maybe i'm not politically correct but um sometimes using a ceramic base just gives it that handmade look you know because i think there's a difference between like handmade and homemade my kids are <laughs> doing homemade for like when they do the decorations and that is handmade and and then then that looks like that that's looks something what you would buy in any of the home home departments lucy singh really stunning i love them right okay so um i'm gonna just show you on the big one how to if you if you're not using the ceramic trees but you want to use a stone and you want to 
add it onto something else. So you already got an old pot. Charity shops are another good place to pick up pots because they again 50p one pound and you can pick up a whole lot. So I'm not gonna um, take this all the way back, <laughs> uh, twist it back up. But once you make your tree, you're gonna have maybe about three inches at the bottom, which is gonna be your root structure. And you want to divide this into, I don't know, maybe two, three, four, as many roots, five, six, as many roots as you want to go separately. So you would divide your all your wires. And I just pretend this is the bottom of my tree and I'm gonna just twist this together here. This is the bottom of my tree. I know this is just our wire but let's just pretend this is the bottom of our tree. So I'm gonna divide these ends into, let me twist this around a couple more times so it stays. So I'm gonna divide the ends into three, four, five, six sections. As many sections as you want to have. So let's do three here. Now I just eyeballed it, I haven't counted the wires and again I'm going to add a bit of a length onto here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to separate this into two and just going to twist this around just a few times to add a bit of a length and I'm going to leave this to the side. I'm going to go into the next one, I'm going to separate this into two and add a few twists on this one. So all of a sudden I got three roots going down from my main chunk of the tree and I'm going to come to the third one as well, separate this into two, it doesn't really matter, I'm not really paying attention, I'm not even counting it and then turn this around a few times. Now you're going to be tweaking this later on. So now I already have got three roots on the bottom going in three different directions and I have got sub roots as well and you're just going to keep doing the same thing I mean some of them you might want to take and twist it even longer and then I would bring my ends together separate separate it out better so separate it out to the number of wires or, or, or the kind of like the size you want to have and then twist these together. So I've got my roots, I've got my sub roots, <laughs> I don't know, I'm making up words here. And then twisting the other side. So now we are going down to smaller and smaller sides and I would do the same for all the other as well. And that's how, actually let's turn this around, that's how you would make your structure for your roots. There we go. And then twist this and you're just going to keep going down until you get to the very, very tip. Oh, I got a stone in there. Can you just pass me a stone, any stone? No. Have you got rose quartz in there? No. No, <laughs> I'm just going to pass me a stone. No. I'm just going to show that to you. So I would go go this and do this all the way down. And then this would take me probably about 10, 15 minutes. I would really take my time to tidy up the roots and make them really pretty. And I can kind of like sort of sit together because um, I'm going to grab the stone. This little one is quite big. So I'm going to grab this stone. This is a just an amethyst. I'm going to put this over it. And can you see, once you put your tree over it, that's where, like, you know, those roots are going to be showing, showing and you're going to see those. So you really want to uh, make them look pretty. And then I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to take the opposite ends, just like that, and twist them together. So I'm tying this onto the stone now itself. Now, first I would just do it with my hand and then after I would come in and tighten it up with, uh, with a pair of pliers. And then I would choose another two opposite and tighten these together. Just twist them together. Then so on and so on. This is very, very loose and it's probably my stone is gonna fall out of it any minute. But um, hey ho, I think you get um, what you need to do here. So this is how we're going to tie our tree onto a stone. And all of these, we're going to 
tighten it up and we're going to have it right under the stone so you're not really going to see it once you set it in but from the above and just twist this from above you're going to see the roots are kind of like going over that stone and this is really loose but um that, that that's what you need to do and then i would glue this down or i would add it into uh, something so if you add a black five to the um, to the discount code on the checkout you will get an extra five pound off if you got 25 pound on to in your basket already don't forget some of the items are on offer the wire is on offer it's usually 9.95 it's down to 7.99 and there is 50 meters on there so usually we sell eight meters for two pound fifty so this is really really a good deal even if you want to use it for jewelry making or something do you take advantage of the offer and plus you get another fiver off if you got 25 pounds worth in your basket there's so many different things you could do i'm going to show you this one because that one you just added a little glue onto the bottom of it and um, just push the wire in there so this one is again have not finished but just kind of wanted to show you the different stages but there's so many different ways you could display your trees there is so many different things you could do with it I, I, I really do love it I think it's really therapeutic and it's nice to do something what you do with beads and it's more home deco rather than um, doing jewelry uh, because like um, with home decor you got so you can gift it to so many more people that you can I guess you can gift jewelry to but um, I, I love it and, I, and I'm giving your putting your time in it is really really beautiful right my lovelies so do check out the website totalabiz.co.uk um, take advantage of the offers this week um, it's not too late to make it for Christmas to start to finish a tree probably would take me maybe about four hours to do three four hours to do if I sat there but I don't usually count my time because I prepare my wires and then I just leave on the side um, in the lounge and do a few bits here or there or when I'm waiting for some something or someone I can do a few branches and when I have got enough that's when I when I'm adding it together and sometimes when I, I even make a few trees and then that's when I get I, I put them into different things everybody have a beautiful week Natalie is going to be with you on Friday with some crisscross bracelets um, they're going to be beautiful we've been putting them together I just need to um, um, I'm going to show you this one again just quickly before I go um, with the three different colors so remember you can add different colors onto the tree itself as well so Natalie is going to be with you on Friday I will be with you on Sunday on my channel we're doing more Christmas decorations we finished that bobble and made a pendant which I don't know I think it's gone from the table now um, last Sunday I'm not sure what we're gonna do this Sunday so if you got any ideas for that one do message me and we are gonna just gonna play uh, we just that on our creation station just going to play um, on Sunday and I'll be back here on total beads next Sarah is gonna be video Monday I think it's next Wednesday I'm back um, I have to have a look I always like look at the um, the calendar and then I'm doing all sorts of different things and it's like oh I can't remember or maybe it's the week after I don't know and then we've got another special guest coming on as well so keep keep, keep an eye out right everybody have a beautiful week and I see you very very soon keep on beading keep on crafting keep on being creative see you later everybody bye bye bye